Start recording. All right. After Jesus' first miracle of turning the water into wine, he started preaching to people all over Israel. And he drew large crowds of people. He would teach for a long time. And there was one time he had a crowd that was so big, it was 5,000 people. And after a while, his disciples came to him and said, Hey, Jesus, we got to send them away because they're hungry. We don't have food. And Jesus said, Well, go find food. I'm like, did he not hear us? It would take like a year's worth of wages, all the money we would earn for a year, and we still wouldn't have enough money to to pay for them to get food. And Jesus looked at him and said, okay, we'll go find some food. And they walked around. Okay, that's enough pictures for now. And they walked around, and finally they found a young boy's lunch. And they brought it up. And he had five loaves of bread, one, two, three, four, five, and three fish. Now, one thing I want you to get when you hear this story, because usually we hear it and we talk about a loaf of bread, and we think of the loaf of bread we get at the grocery store, you know, it's like a foot and a half long, and you can make ten sandwiches out of it. Well, this is a boy's lunch, so loaf of bread, think biscuit. When you think fish, don't think like the big, huge fish that we can get in the grocery store. Think small fish, because again, this is a little boy's lunch. So Jesus took that lunch, and he looked at it, and he thought, this will do. And then he prayed, and he thanked God for the food, and then he took the basket, and got out the boy's napkin, and he started passing out the food. And he passed, started passing, and he passed out food, and he passed them a fish, he passed someone else some bread and a fish, and they passed out the food, and they kept passing it out, and passing it out, that's right, and they started eating it up like hungry, hungry, hungry people. I'm hungry too. You're hungry too? Well, he passed him some food too. And he passed out all this food. And at the end, everyone was fed, and there was enough food left to fill. Okay, that's enough. At the end, there was enough food left to fill 12 baskets of food. Now, but stop it. Okay, but when you reach your arm across like that, you put it in front of her trying to video it. All right, now. I want you to think about it. 12 is one of those numbers that God likes. What are some other things that you can think of that had the number 12 in it? That, um, that 12 disciples. 12 disciples. What else? Um, I was going to say that. 10, 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12 tribes. So that's two of the things that, that God chose oh, that, that had. What were you going to say? He also likes the number 10. You see that in the Ten Commandments. Yep. He also likes oh, 7 and 40, but today it's 12. Now, this is a big deal, and everyone's really excited, but after a while, Jesus is tired. So he sends them away. I've asked you to stop. I'm going to take it away from you if you don't stop. All right. So, after a while, they send the crowds away, and Jesus goes alone by himself to pray. And he needed some time alone to pray and talk to God. And he sent his disciples on ahead on the boat. And he said, I will catch up to you later. And the disciples kind of thought that was a little weird. Because they're going ahead on the other side of the lake. And how is Jesus going to catch up to them? Can you go let the dog out? <laughs> so he stops barking and he can get whatever animal is driving him nuts. So Jesus leaves them off to pray. And he goes out and he, they leave. And he sets out late that evening, and he goes out to catch up to him. And he starts walking, and he's walking, and he, got, and he doesn't even notice when he walks out onto the water. And he is just walking across that water like he's going to meet them on the other side of the lake. When suddenly one of the disciples looks, looks and says, It's a ghost! <laughs> it's a ghost! And they were scared! Ghost! And then suddenly... Peter says, no, it's Jesus. And he calls out to him and he 
says, Lord, if you call me, I will come out to you. And so Jesus says, he says, Peter, come to me. And Peter gets out of the boat and he starts walking off to Jesus. And he's looking at Jesus and then he notices there's a lot of waves. And as he notices those waves, he takes his eyes off Jesus and he starts to sink. And then he's, as he sinks, he cries out to Jesus and he says, Jesus, save me! And Jesus reaches down to Peter and he pulls him up and he says, Peter, why did you take your eyes off of me? I was always here for you. Now, a lot of people, a lot of people point out that, G that Peter faltered and he took his eyes off of Jesus and he started to sing. But you know what I want to point out? There was 11 disciples still sitting in that boat. And there was one disciple who had the courage to get out of the boat. So here is my challenge for my kiddos. My challenge for you guys is to be the one who gets out of the boat. To have the courage to get out of the boat and follow Jesus. How will we do that? I don't know. What's something that you might be called to do that would have to take courage? Should I, Mom, should I stop it? Don't let...